Metal Gear Solid is an action-adventure stealth video game developed by Konami Computer Entertainment Japan and released for the PlayStation in 1998. The game was directed, produced, and written by Hideo Kojima, and serves as a sequel to the MSX2 video games Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, which Kojima also worked on. The game was in development since 1994, and had gameplay demos revealed in 1996 and 1997, before eventually releasing in 1998. The game follows Solid Snake, a soldier who infiltrates a nuclear weapons facility to neutralize the terrorist threat from Foxhound, a renegade special forces unit. Snake must liberate two hostages, the head of DARPA and the president of a major arms manufacturer, confront the terrorists, and stop them from launching a nuclear strike. Cinematic cutscenes were rendered using the in game engine and graphics, and voice acting was used throughout the entire game. Metal Gear Solid was well received, shipping more than 6 million copies, along with 12 million demos, and scoring an average of 94 one hundredths on the aggregate website Metacritic. It is regarded as one of the greatest and most important video games and helped popularize the stealth genre. Its success prompted the release of an expanded version for the PlayStation and PC, Metal Gear Solid, Integral, and a GameCube remake, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes. The game has also spawned numerous sequels, prequels, and spin-offs, including several games, a radio drama, comics, and novels. Gameplay The player must navigate the protagonist, Solid Snake, through the game's areas without being detected by enemies. Detection is triggered by the player moving into an enemy's field of vision and sets off an alarm that draws armed enemies to his location. This also triggers, "...alert mode", and the player must then hide and remain undetected, at which point evasion mode begins and once the counter reaches zero the game returns to, "...infiltration mode", where enemies are not suspicious of Snake's presence. The radar cannot be used in alert or evasion mode. In addition to the stealth gameplay, there are set-piece sequences that entail firefights between the player and enemies. To remain undetected, the player can perform techniques which make use of both Solid Snake's abilities and the environment, such as crawling under objects, using boxes as cover, ducking or hiding around walls, and making noise to distract enemies. An on-screen radar provides the player with the location of nearby enemies and their field of vision. Snake can also make use of many items and gadgets, such as infrared goggles and a cardboard box disguise. The emphasis on stealth promotes a less violent form of gameplay, as fights against large groups of enemies will often result in serious damage to Snake. Despite the switch to 3D, the game is still played primarily from an overhead perspective similar to the original 2D Metal Gear games. However, the camera angle will change during certain situations, such as a corner view when Snake flattens himself to a wall next to an open space, or into first person when crawling under tight spaces or using certain items such as the binoculars or a sniper rifle. The player can also use the first person view while remaining idle to look around Snake's surroundings or see what's ahead of him. Progress is punctuated by cutscenes and codec, as well as encounters with bosses. To progress, players must discover the weaknesses of each boss and defeat them. Play controls and strategies can also be accessed via the codec radio, where advice is delivered from Snake's support team. For example, the support team may chastise Snake for not saving his progress often enough, or explain his combat moves in terms of which buttons to press on the gamepad. The codec is also used to provide exposition on the game's backstory. In addition to the main story, there's also a VR training mode in which the player can test out their sneaking skills in a series of artificially constructed environments. This mode is divided into three main categories practice, time attack, and gun shooting, each consisting of ten stages. After completing all 30 stages, a survival mission is unlocked in which the player must sneak their way through ten consecutive stages under a seven minute limit. Characters The protagonist is Solid Snake, a legendary infiltrator and saboteur. During the mission, Snake receives support and advice via codec radio. Colonel Roy Campbell, Solid Snake's former commanding officer, supports Snake with advice and tactics. While he initially keeps a number of secrets from Snake, he gradually reveals them. 
He is joined by Naomi Hunter, who gives medical advice, Nastasha Romanenko, who provides item and weapon tips, Master Miller, a former drill instructor and survival coach, and Mei Ling, who invented the soliton radar system used in the mission and is also in charge of mission data. The player can call her to save the game. The main antagonist of the game is Liquid Snake, leader of a now terrorist splinter cell of the organization Foxhound, and genetic counterpart to Solid Snake. An elite special forces unit, Foxhound contains experts specializing in unique tasks. Members are Revolver Ocelot, a Western-style gunslinger and expert interrogator whose weapon of choice is the Colt Single Action Army, Sniper Wolf, a preternatural sniper, Vulcan Raven, a hulking Alaskan shaman armed with an M61 Vulcan torn from a downed F-16, Psycho Mantis, a psychic profiler and psychokinesis expert, and Decoy Octopus, a master of disguise. Other characters include Merrill Silverberg, Colonel Campbell's niece and a rookie soldier stationed in Shadow Moses who did not join the revolt. Dr. Hal Emmerich, the lead developer of Metal Gear Rex, and the Ninja, a mysterious cybernetically enhanced agent who is neither an ally nor an enemy of Snake but does oppose Foxhound. Topic <laughs> plot: The year is 2005, six years after the downfall of Zanzibarland. A renegade genetically enhanced special forces unit, Foxhound, has seized a remote island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago codenamed, Shadow Moses, the site of a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound threatens to use the nuclear-capable mecha, Metal Gear Rex, against the U.S. government if they do not receive the remains of Big Boss and the ransom of $1 billion within 24 hours. Solid Snake is forced out of retirement by Colonel Roy Campbell to infiltrate the island and neutralize the threat. Snake enters the facility via an air vent and locates the first hostage, DARPA Chief Donald Anderson. Anderson reveals that Metal Gear Rex can be deactivated with a secret detonation override code, but dies of a heart attack. Colonel Campbell's niece Meryl Silverberg, held hostage in an adjoining cell, helps Snake escape. Snake locates another hostage, Armstech President Kenneth Baker, but is confronted by Foxhound member Revolver Ocelot. Their gunfight is interrupted by a mysterious cyborg ninja who cuts off Ocelot's right hand. Baker briefs Snake on the Metal Gear project and advises him to contact Merrill, whom he gave a PAL card that might prevent the launch, but he too dies of a sudden heart attack. Over Kodak, Merrill agrees to meet in the warhead disposal area on the condition that Snake contacts Metal Gear's designer, Dr. Hal. Odakon Emmerich. En route, Snake receives an anonymous codec call warning him of a tank ambush. Snake fends off the attack from Vulcan Raven and proceeds to the rendezvous, where he locates Odakon. The ninja reappears and Snake realizes it is his former ally Grey Fox, believed dead. Odakon agrees to aid Snake remotely using special camouflage to procure information and supplies. Snake meets Merrill and receives the PAL card. As they head for the underground base, Meryl is possessed by psychic Psycho Mantis and pulls her gun on Snake. He disarms her and defeats Mantis, who informs Snake that he has a large place in her heart. After they reach the underground passageway, Sniper Wolf ambushes them, wounds Meryl, and captures Snake. Liquid confirms Snake's suspicion that they are twin brothers. After being tortured by Ocelot, Snake is confused to discover Anderson's body in his cell, seemingly dead for days. He escapes, makes his way up the communications tower, and fends off a helicopter attack from Liquid. As he emerges onto a snowfield, he is confronted again by Sniper Wolf. He kills her, devastating Otakon, who was infatuated with her. Snake continues to Rex's hangar and is ambushed again by Raven. After Snake defeats him, Raven tells Snake that, Anderson was, in fact, Foxhound disguise artist Decoy Octopus. Infiltrating Metal Gear's hangar, Snake overhears Liquid and Ocelot preparing the Rex launch sequence and uses the PAL card, but this unexpectedly activates Rex. Liquid reveals that he has been impersonating Snake's advisor Master Miller and that Foxhound has used Snake to facilitate Rex's launch. He and Snake are the product of the Les Enfants Terribles project, a 1970s government program to clone Big Boss. He also reveals to Snake the government's true reason for sending him. Snake is unknowingly carrying a weaponized fox die virus that causes cardiac arrest in Foxhound members on contact, allowing the government to retrieve Rex undamaged. As Liquid, in Rex, battles Snake, Grey Fox appears, destroys Rex's redome, and is killed. 
Snake destroys Rex and defeats Liquid, then escapes with Meryl or Otakon via an underground tunnel, pursued by Liquid in a jeep. After their vehicles crash, Liquid pulls a gun on Snake but dies from Fox die. Colonel Campbell, briefly ousted from command, calls off a nuclear strike to destroy evidence of the operation and has Snake registered as killed in action to stop the U.S. government searching for him. Naomi Hunter, who injected Snake with the Fox Die virus, tells him that he has an indeterminate amount of time before it kills him. Ocelot calls the U.S. president, he was a double agent whose mission was to steal Baker's disc of Metal Gear specifications. Development Kojima originally planned the third Metal Gear game in 1994 for the 3DO interactive multiplayer. Conceptual artwork by Yoji Shinkawa of the characters Solid Snake, Meryl Silverberg, who was also a character in the adventure game Police Knots, and the Foxhound team, were included in the Police Knots, pilot disc preceding the release of the full version of the 3DO game in 1995. After the 3DO was discontinued, development shifted to the PlayStation after Police Knots was released. The game was titled Metal Gear Solid, rather than Metal Gear 3, due to the fact that the MSX2 versions of the previous Metal Gear games were not widely released, particularly Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, which was only released in Japan and was not ported to any other platform at the time an unrelated sequel to the first Metal Gear, titled Snake's Revenge, was released outside Japan for the NES instead, which was developed without Kojima's involvement. The word, solid was chosen due to the switch from 2D to 3D computer graphics. Development for Metal Gear Solid began in mid 1995 with the intention of creating the best PlayStation game ever. Developers aimed for accuracy and realism while making the game enjoyable and tense. In the early stages of development, the Huntington Beach SWAT team educated the creators with a demonstration of vehicles, weapons, and explosives. Weapons expert Motosada Mori was also tapped as technical advisor in the research, which included visits to Fort Irwin and firing sessions at Stembridge gun rentals. Kojima stated that, "...if the player isn't tricked into believing that the world is real, then there's no point in making the game." To fulfill this, adjustments were made to every detail, such as individually designed desks, the characters and mecha designs were made by artist Yoji Shinkawa based on Kojima's concepts. According to Shinkawa, Solid Snake's physique in this particular installment was based on Jean-Claude Van Damme, while his facial appearance was based on Christopher Walken. The characters were completed by polygonal artists using brush drawings and clay models by Shinkawa. Kojima wanted greater interaction with objects and the environment, such as allowing the player to hide bodies in a storage compartment. Additionally, he wanted, "...a full orchestra right next to the player." A system which made modifications such as tempo and texture to the currently playing track, instead of switching to another pre-recorded track. Although these features could not be achieved, they were implemented in Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. A gameplay demo of Metal Gear Solid was first revealed to the public at the 1996 Tokyo Game Show, and was later shown at E3 1997 as a short video. The 1997 version had several differences, including a more controllable camera and blue colored vision cones. It was playable for the first time at the Tokyo Game Show in 1998 and released the same year in Japan with an extensive promotional campaign. Television and magazine advertisements, in store samples, and demo giveaways contributed to a total of $8 million in promotional costs. An estimated 12 million demos for the game were distributed in 1998. Topic: Music. The musical score of Metal Gear Solid was composed by Konami's in-house musicians, including Kazuki Muraoka, Hiroyuki Togo, Takanari Ishiyama, Lee Jaeon Myung, and Maki Kirioka. Composer and lyricist Rika Muranaka provided a song called "The Best Is Yet to Come" for the game's ending credits sequence. The song is performed in Irish by Ifa Ni Fara. The main theme was composed by Tapi Iways from the Konami Kukia Club. Music played in-game has a synthetic feel with increased pace and introduction of strings during tense moments, with a looping style endemic to video games. Overtly cinematic music, with stronger orchestral and choral elements, appears in cutscenes. 
The soundtrack was released on September 23, 1998, under the King Records label. Releases Metal Gear Solid was first released for the PlayStation in Japan on September 3, 1998. The game was available in a standard edition, as well as a limited, premium package. Edition sold in a large box that also contained a T-shirt, a pair of Foxhound-themed dog tags, memory card stickers, an audio CD featuring the soundtracks from the MSX2 Metal Gear games, including a few bonus arranged tracks, and a 40-page booklet, Metal Gear Solid Classified, featuring production notes, interviews with the developers, and a glossary of terminology in the game. The North American version was released a month later on October 20. Changes and additions were made to this version, such as a choice of three difficulty settings when starting a new game with a fourth setting that is unlocked after completing the game once, an alternate tuxedo outfit for Snake which the character wears on every third playthrough on the same save file, and a ''demo theater'' mode where the player views every cutscene and radio conversations relevant to the main story. Jeremy Blaustein, who previously worked on the English localization of Snatcher for the Sega CD, wrote the English version of the script. One change in the English script was the addition of Western sources and authors to Mei Ling's pool of motivational quotes. Originally, the character only cited Chinese proverbs natively, providing an explanation afterward in Japanese, but this proved difficult to adapt during the translation. The games detected by Psycho Mantis when he reads the player's memory card were also changed, due to certain games such as the Tokimeki Memorial series not being released outside Japan. This resulted in Kojima's cameo in which he thanks the player for supporting his work via a voiceover being cut from the Western versions, as save data from two PlayStation games not available outside Japan, Snatcher and Police Knots, needed to be present on the player's memory card for this Easter egg to appear. The game was launched in Europe on February 22, 1999, with versions voiced in French, Italian, and German available in addition to English. A Spanish dubbed version was later released on May 1. A limited premium package edition was also produced for the European market similar to the one released in Japan, although the content differs significantly from its Japanese counterpart. The Japanese PlayStation version of Metal Gear Solid was reissued twice, once under the Best series and later under PS1 Books. Likewise, the American and European versions of Metal Gear Solid were reissued under the Greatest Hits and Platinum series respectively. The game is included in the Japanese Metal Gear Solid, 20th Anniversary Collection set and in the American Essential Collection set. The original Metal Gear Solid was released on the PlayStation Store for download on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable on March 21, 2008, in Japan and on June 18, 2009, in North America and on November 19 of the same year in Europe. The game was included on the PlayStation Classic. Integral Released on June 25, 1999, for the PlayStation in Japan, Metal Gear Solid, Integral is an expanded edition of the game that features the added content from the American and European versions. It replaces the Japanese voices from the original version with the English dub, offering players a choice between Japanese and English subtitles during cutscenes and codec conversations item descriptions, mission logs, and other text are still in Japanese. Further additional content to the main game include an alternate, "'sneaking suit' outfit for Meryl which she wears when Snake is dressed in the tuxedo, a "'very easy' Difficulty setting where the player starts the mission armed with a suppressor equipped MP5 sub machine gun with infinite ammo, substituting the famous rifle in Snake's inventory, an eighth codec frequency featuring written staff commentary unvoiced and in Japanese only on every area and boss encounter, hidden music tracks, an alternate game mode where the player controls Snake from a first person perspective on normal difficulty only, an option for alternate patrol routes for enemies, and a downloadable Pocket Station minigame. The torture event was also made easier, reducing the number of rounds to three per session on all five difficulty settings. The VR training mode from the original Metal Gear Solid has been expanded into 300 stages, which are now stored on a separate third disc known as the VR Disc. These new set of missions are divided into four main categories, sneaking, weapons, advanced and special. 
The first three categories feature standard training exercises that test the player's sneaking, shooting, and combat skills, while the fourth category contains less conventional tests involving murder mysteries, giant genome soldiers, and flying saucers. One particular set of missions has the player controlling the cyborg ninja, unlocked by either completing a minigame on the pocket station and uploading the data to the VR disc or by achieving the Fox rank on the main game. Completing all 300 missions will unlock a concept artwork of Metal Gear Ray, a mech that would later appear in Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Additional content includes preview trailers of Metal Gear Solid from trade events and a photo shoot mode where the player can take photographs of fully expressive polygonal models of Mei Ling and Dr. Naomi after completing the main game. Famitsu Magazine rated Metal Gear Solid, Integral a 34 out of 40. The third disc from Integral was released as a standalone game in North America under the title Metal Gear Solid VR Missions on September 23, 1999. While the content of VR Missions is virtually identical to Integral's VR disc, the unlocking requirements for the Ninja Missions and the photo shoot mode were changed accordingly so that they no longer required save data from the main game or any use of the pocket station. The VR disc was also released in the PAL region as Metal Gear Solid, Special Missions on October 29, 1999. Unlike the Japanese and American versions, Special Missions requires a PAL copy of the original Metal Gear Solid in order to be played. This change was done since the original Metal Gear Solid was released in multiple languages in Europe and Special Missions determines the language it uses based on which version of the original game the player owns. When the Special Missions disc is loaded into the PlayStation console, the game will ask the player to switch the disc with the first disc from Metal Gear Solid in order to load voice and language data before asking the player to switch back to the Special Missions disc to start the game. This requirement renders Special Missions incompatible with PlayStation 2 consoles made prior to the SCPH-70000 model. PC version. The PC version of Metal Gear Solid was released in North America, Europe, and Asia in late 2000. This version was published by Microsoft Game Studios and developed by Digital Dialect. It supports the use of a keyboard or a USB game controller with at least six buttons with the manual recommending the Sidewinder Game Pad Pro. It also supports direct 3D-capable video cards, allowing for a high resolution of up to 1024x768. The PC version is simply labeled Metal Gear Solid on the packaging, but the actual game uses the Metal Gear Solid, Integral logo, although it has some differences as well from the PlayStation version of Integral and lacks some of its content. The biggest change was reducing the number of discs from 3 to 2, which was done by giving each disc two separate executable files, one for the main game and the other for the VR training portion thus eliminating the need for a standalone third disc. One notable omission was the removal of the cutscene prior to the Psycho Mantis battle in which he reads the player's memory card and activates the vibration function of the player's controller if a DualShock is being used, as this scene involved the use of PlayStation-specific peripherals. The method for defeating Mantis was also changed from using the second controller to simply using the keyboard regardless of whether the player was using a game controller or not up to that point. Other omissions include the removal of the 8th codec frequency 140.07, which featured written commentaries by the developers, Merrill's alternate sneaking suit outfit, and the mission logs when loading a save file. However, the PC version adds the option to toggle moving and shooting in first-person view mode at any time regardless of difficulty setting, and players can now save their progress at any point without contacting Mei Ling through the use of quick saves. On the VR training portion, all 300 missions, as well as the photo shoot mode, are available from the start, although the opening video and the three unlockable preview trailers from the PlayStation version have been removed, scoring 83 in Metacritic's aggregate. The game was criticized for graphic glitches, the aged nature of the port, and being essentially identical to the PlayStation version. Topic: The Twin Snakes. A remake, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, was developed by Silicon Knights under the supervision of Konami Computer Entertainment Japan and released for the GameCube in North America, Japan, and Europe in March 2004. 
While Twin Snakes was largely developed at Silicon Knights, its cutscenes were developed in house at Konami and directed by Japanese film director Ryuhei Kitamura, reflecting his dynamic signature style, utilizing bullet time photography and choreographed gunplay extensively. While the storyline and settings of the game were unchanged, although a select few lines of dialogue were rewritten more closely resembling the original Japanese version, a variety of gameplay features from Sons of Liberty were added, such as the first person aiming and hanging from bars on walls. Another change in the English voice acting was the reduction of Mei Ling's, Naomi's, and Nastasha's accents, as well as the recasting of Gray Fox from Greg Eagles, who still reprises the role of the DARPA chief, to Rob Powelson. The graphics were also updated to match those of Metal Gear Solid 2. <inaudible> related media A Japanese radio drama version of Metal Gear Solid, directed by Shuyo Murata and written by Motosada Mori, was produced shortly after the release of the original PlayStation game. Twelve episodes were aired, from 1998 to 1999 on Konami's Club DB program. The series was later released on CD as a two-volume series. Set after the events of the PlayStation game, Snake, Merrill, Campbell and Mei Ling all portrayed by their original Japanese voice actors pursue missions in hostile Third World nations as Foxhound. The new characters introduced include SGT. Alan Ishiba voiced by Tashio Furukawa, a Delta Force operative who assists Snake and Merrill, call Mark Cortez v. B. Osamu Saka, an old friend of Campbell who commands the fictional Asteria Army Special Forces, and Capt. Sergei Ivanovich v. B. Kazuhiro Nakata, a former war buddy of Revolver Ocelot from his SVR days. In September 2004, IDW Publications began publishing a series of Metal Gear Solid comics, written by Chris Oprisco and illustrated by Ashley Wood. As of 2006, 12 issues have been published, fully covering the Metal Gear Solid storyline. The comic was adapted into a PlayStation Portable game, Metal Gear Solid, digital graphic novel, Metal Gear Solid, Bandai Deshine in Japan. It features visual enhancements and two interactive modes designed to give further insight into the publication. Upon viewing the pages, the player can open a «scanning» interface to search for characters and items in a three-dimensional view. Discoveries are added to a database which can be traded with other players via Wi-Fi. The «mission mode» allows the player to add collected information into a library. This information must be properly connected to complete a mission. Metal Gear Solid, digital graphic novel was released in North America on June 13, 2006, Japan on September 21 and the PAL region on September 22. In 2006, the game received IGN's award for best use of sound on the PSP. A DVD video version is included with its sequel Metal Gear Solid 2, Bandai Deshine, which was released in Japan on June 12, 2008. The DVD version features full voice acting. A novelization based on the original Metal Gear Solid was written by Raymond Benson and published by Del Rey. The American paperback edition was published on May 27, 2008, and the British edition on June 5, 2008. A second novelization by Kenji Yano, written under the pen name Hitori Najima, Metal Gear Solid Substance I, was published by Kadokawa Shoten in Japan on August 25, 2015. This novelization is narrated through a text file written by a young man living in Manhattan in 2009 the present year of the plant chapter in Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. The story also acknowledges certain plot elements from Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain regarding certain characters such as Liquid Snake and Psycho Mantis. Topic reception and legacy Metal Gear Solid was critically acclaimed, gaining a 93% and 94/100 aggregate at rating websites GameRankings and Metacritic, respectively. The review in PlayStation Magazine declared it the best game ever made. Unputdownable and unforgettable, the review by IGN opined Metal Gear Solid came closer to perfection than any other game in PlayStation's action genre and called it beautiful, engrossing, and innovative. In every conceivable category, computer and video games compared it to playing a big budget action blockbuster, only better. GamePro called it this season's top offering game and one game no self respecting gamer should be without, but criticized the frame rate that occasionally stalls the eye catching graphics. 
GameSpot was critical of how easy it is for the player to avoid being seen, as well as the game's short length, calling it more of a work of art than an actual game. Metal Gear Solid received an Excellence Award for Interactive Art at the 1998 Japan Media Arts Festival. The Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences nominated Metal Gear Solid for its 1998 Outstanding Achievement in Character or Story Development Award, although the game lost to Pokémon Red and Blue. Topic: Retrospective. Metal Gear Solid helped popularize the stealth game genre. The idea of the player being unarmed and having to avoid being seen by enemies rather than fight them has been used in many games since. It is also sometimes acclaimed as being a film as much as a game due to the lengthy cutscenes and complicated storyline. IGN called it, "...the founder of the stealth genre." The game is often considered one of the best games for the PlayStation, and was featured in Best Video Games lists by Computer and Video Games in 2000, by Electronic Gaming Monthly and Game Informer in 2001, by Retro Gamer in 2004, by GameFAQ and GamePro in 2005, and by Famitsu. In 2002, IGN ranked it as the best PlayStation game ever, stating that just the demo for the game had more gameplay in it than in most Finnish titles. IGN also gave it the Best Ending", and Best Villain", awards. In 2005, in placing it 19th on their list of Top 100 Games, they said that it was a game that truly felt like a movie. Guinness World Records awarded Metal Gear Solid with a record for the most innovative use of a video game controller for the boss fight with Psycho Mantis in the Guinness World Records Gamers Edition 2008 edition. In 2010, PC Magazine ranked it as seventh in the list of most influential video games of all time, citing its influence on such stealthy titles as Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell. In 2012, Time named it one of the 100 greatest video games of all time, and G4 TV ranked it as the 45th top video game of all time. According to 1UP.com, Metal Gear Solid's cinematic style continues to influence modern action games such as Call of Duty. Metal Gear Solid, along with its sequel, Metal Gear Solid 2, was featured in the Smithsonian American Art Museum's exhibition The Art of Video Games in 2012. During August 2015, Eurogamer, reanalyzed the game's technical and overall impact and claimed that Metal Gear Solid has been nothing less than, "...the first modern video game." In September 2015, Metal Gear Solid was voted the best original PlayStation game of all time by PlayStation, Blog's users. Sales The game was a commercial success, shipping over 6 million copies worldwide. It became one of the most rented games and topped sales charts in the United Kingdom. It sold 1 million units in Japan, and approximately 5 million units in the United States and Europe, despite its high success even in sales. Kojima, during an interview with Jeff Keithley in 2014, revealed that Metal Gear Solid sales expectations were low and said, Neither I nor anyone else expected Metal Gear Solid to sell at all. I didn't think at all of how to make this game sell well, because I didn't expect it to sell. <laughs> Notes <laughs>